Cincinnati has used the Nippert site as a playing field since 1901, making it the second oldest playing site in the nation for college football. Construction began on the stadium in 1915 and was completed in 1924. Among NCAA FBS schools, Nippert is the third oldest stadium still in use behind Georgia Tech's Bobby Dodd Stadium and Mississippi State's Davis Wade Stadium. It has received several additions and facelifts over the past century, most recently this last year. Cincinnati played the 2014 season in Paul Brown Stadium, home of the Bengals, but this Saturday the Bearcats return home to the center of campus. I cannot wait. I tell you what, I've never played at Nipper, so I mean my first year at Paul Brown, it, 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 it felt like every game was an away game, just packing up and getting on the bus to go, it just, it didn't feel like home. So now to get the opportunity to go and, and play at Nipper, it's, it's, it's going to be a great time. Oh, it means a lot. And it means so much more because our last Nipper game at Nipper, we, we lost to Louisville. So now we want to just watch that taste out of our mouth, but it's going to be a great fun to get to come back home, new stadium. It's no, nothing like home, no place like home. You know, obviously the stadium's been coming up real well. I mean, it's going to be done, uh, you know, probably next couple weeks. And I mean, we'll be ready for the first game. But, you know, obviously the fan base has just been, you know, going crazy. I mean, they keep seeing, you know, obviously our, our, our camp, or, uh, the way our campus sits, our stadium sits right in the middle of campus. So kids get to see it every day they walk to class. I think that gets them even more excited. And they, they keep seeing the changes every other day. Like we just changed our bleachers to all red on the lower section, put a CEPA on our, in our student section. But, you know, our students have, we've always had a great student section. I think it's going to be even better this year, you know, coming back home, going to play in the Nippert again instead of down at Paul Brown Stadium. But, you know, it's definitely just, it's, it's a homecoming, and I, I think everyone's excited for it. We're really excited. Uh, you know, we wouldn't have been able to have done all this renovation in an 18-month period had we not had Paul Brown Stadium, Bengal Stadium, play in. So we were able to move there, totally get away, and they've really done a good job. It's, uh, it's been called the Wrigley Field of college football. And it really is. It's an old stadium, 100 years old, in the middle of campus, down in the ground. You have big buildings overlooking it from both sides. And it's really, really been fun to watch go up because my office building is kind of on the 50-yard line. Senior Silverberry Muhan plans to go out on top with his best season yet. But he's not just playing for himself. He plans to show up for the thousands dressed in red and black. Oh, it's, it, I, like, I love the fan base, you know. Even through the, uh, the coldest game, I guess it was ECU, we still had a lot of people out there. So, you know, they're dedicated as well, you know. They're, all, they're, they're behind us 100%, you know, no matter what. Even through our hard times, they were still riding behind us. So, as, I, love, I love the fan base, you know, because of them, you know, we're successful as well. So, we owe it to them as well, too. This Saturday, you'll see head coach Tommy Tuberville on the sideline, excited to be back in his stadium. But the prep isn't any different. The goal is the same, to win. Well, I usually get up in the morning, take a walk uh, at the hotel, whether we're at home or whether we're on the road. Go out and think about things that uh, we had done during the week that we had done well. Uh, then I like to meet with our coordinators, the guy that are going to call the offensive plays, defensive plays, and our special team guy, just those three guys in the hotel room. And we talk about the game plan, uh, again, what they think went well during the week. We kind of match ideas. Uh, we talk about uh, coin toss, you know, do we want to defend, do we want to take the ball? If you can't make it out to Nippert Stadium, you can catch the Bearcats against Alabama A&M. They'll be coming out in style in their new Under Armour uniforms that were unveiled earlier today. That one's on Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox Sports Ohio or ESPN3.